So Spear Dude hasn't really been open about his depression before, but he's gonna be open about it now. And the main reason why he struggles with depression is because he's been through tons of fucked up shit in his life. He was molested by his piece of shit uncle when he was a kid, and his dad was a very bad alcoholic when he was a kid. And back in April of 2018, his grandpa died, and he was very close to his grandpa and loved him very much. And on the day that he died back in 2018, it really fucked Spear Dude up very badly. He cried almost every day for like two weeks straight after he died. He has also dealt with assholes doxing him and sending him racist voicemails. He didn't do shit to the motherfuckers who did that to him, but they decide to dox and harass innocent people like him anyways because they're shitty people. He's also dealt with trolls harassing him in his comment sections just because they can't respect his opinions about music and other things that he talks about. He dealt with tons of health problems back in 2020, and he dealt with health problems for an entire year because these shitty doctors he was seeing were being horrible people and didn't listen to a damn thing he told them about his symptoms. He had to go to the doctors on and off for an entire year from 2020 to 2021 till he finally found a doctor who actually listened to him and gave him the proper treatment he needed for the health problems he was dealing with. Spear Dude is lucky that the health problems he was dealing with weren't deadly or else he would probably be dead right now because of those heartless piece of shit doctors. Throughout most of Spear Dude's life, he's dealt with a lot of bullshit. He struggled with depression throughout most of his life because of all the shit he's been through. There are some days where his depression's less bad, there are some days where he's not depressed at all, and there's also some days where his depression gets extremely bad. But some things that he does to help with his depression is talk to his family members and friends, and another thing he does to help with his depression is smoke. He smokes cigarettes, weed, and CBD buds, and he buys CBD on fernvalleyfarms.com. Smoking cigarettes is a bad habit but Spear Dude only smokes around eight to 10 cigarettes a day. He smokes cigarettes during the daytime and weed and CBD during the nighttime because sometimes weed and CBD makes him feel very sleepy, so he can't really smoke it during the daytime. Sometimes smoking helps with his depression, but sometimes it doesn't. And his depression has been so damn bad over the past few weeks to the point where he has no passion to talk in his videos. And when it comes to everybody out there who struggles with depression, just know that you're not alone. Depression sucks, but we just gotta stay strong and try to keep our heads up because that's the, that's the best thing we can do. And Spear Dude also made a great motivational video just recently that he would highly recommend y'all to check out. And another reason Spear Dude's depression has been worse lately is because of all the drama that has happened recently. Bud was falsely accused of pedophilia, Umbrella was falsely accused of pedophilia, and even Spear Dude himself was falsely accused of pedophilia. These goddamn false allegations have been way too out of control lately. And the people who spread these false allegations should be ashamed of themselves because they put people through so much stress and depression by doing that shit. And even Bud is another person who struggles with very bad depression. So he's a person who can completely relate to Spear Dude since both of them have suffered very badly with depression for many years.
Depression is a real bitch and it's a sad thing that so many people have to deal with, but staying strong is the best thing we all can do when our depressions gets very bad. Like our Rihanna sung in her song, Be All Right. Baby, don't you know all of them tears gonna come and go. Baby, you just gotta make up your mind that every little thing is gonna be all right. And those are some real deep lyrics that also have helped Spear Dude out a lot. Our Rihanna and Selena have helped Spear Dude out a lot with his depression, with their music and them as people. And he showed the many motivational things they've said about mental health in his previous video. Both of them are great people to feel inspired by, especially when you're struggling with depression. And not just depression, but mental health problems in general. Thank you.